I'm gonna get lost and I'm gonna, I'm gonna drown inside of a cave. Oh, <gasps> what is all this? I've never seen this. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I got scared. I'm sorry. How's it going, everyone? OB here, and welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. Now, real quick, I am recording this one right after my uh, previous episode, so I have not read the comments on the last one yet. So if you guys told me something pretty important, I have not read it yet because it does not exist yet because I'm going way too fast. Okay, I got to slow my butt down. I got to slow my roll down here, but what, you know, what, you know, what? Um, what? Had a lot of coffee, so my mind just uh, exploded. Oh, uh, we got to read this here. Radio message here. Oh. Aurora, it's Sunday. Okay. We've made orbit. And yeah, yeah. The scans have found a landing site on the planet oh. that's only rated hazardous. Oh, that's it? It's our best shot. We've sent you the coordinates. Okay. We'll be there in two days' time. Two Watch days? Fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. The weather? Sunbeam out. The weather is what you're worried about? My boy, you are driving things this big through the galaxy? And you're worried about a little storm? Oh, wait. There's a countdown in the top right. 39 minutes. I got a countdown. Oh, over there. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Now, now we have ourselves a goal, a location in mind of where we need to go. 1,000 meters out. Well, then, I better pack for the road here. Give me one second here, boys. What do I have on me here? Let's open up the old inventory. We got some nutrient blocks and some water. You know what? That's usually what you need. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's grab a little uh, a little sea moth out of here. And let's get our booties over there to the uh, sunbeam land side, I guess. Why not, you know? Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Getting inside sea moth. Going for a little trip. Gonna be a whole adventure across the ocean. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Getting inside sea moth. Skibbity scap. Skibbity scap. Whoa. Damn that. Sound effects. Okay. All systems online. All systems are online, boys. You hear that? You hear that? The systems are online. Okay, so now we gotta make our way over here to the Sunbeam Landing site. Now I believe we're going to an island that has a Reaper Leviathan that swims around it. Kind of like a circle of motion here. He's a bad dude. I'm not gonna lie. This was the first Reaper encounter I've ever had at this island here. And let me tell you, he scared legit the pants off me. Okay, they came right off my my thighs. My little butt cheeks were exposed to the cold weather. And then he fell off. I am now a butt cheekless man because my scared butt cheeks ran away. Oh, jeez. Well, darker than I remember being over here, isn't it? Should I be looking for some things? Like, well, I'm here, you know, like blueprints and stuff like that. You guys be saying stasis rifles and stuff like that. You know, I'm, I'm listening. What you be listening, man? Mobile vehicle. Wait, I have this already. I don't need that. I'm going back inside. That is super dark out there. Why is it so dark? Oh, oh I touched something. Just the sand, man. Calm down. Golly, you kids are all scared, man. You kids are... Warpers. Did y'all see that teleportation? Warpers are around here. Hey, look at the top right there. I have another radio call. Okay, yeah. There was definitely... There was definitely a Reaper around here before. I specifically remember this area having Reaper's activity in it. Doesn't matter. Because we made it to the island. <clears throat> Over there? Yeah, I don't want to make it over there. Okay, we're going to have to. We're going to have to brave it up in the water here. Let me grab this. Is this copper? A silver. Oh, I should probably take the silver, huh? Uh, Drop this, man. I need that silver. Silver's pretty rare. Uh, I don't want to go too deep anymore. I just want to be in my sea moth. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit of a baby. If we need silver later on, I'll just go find some new ones. That's not worth my heart attack. Oh, jeez. Just stay close to the shore, B. Stay close to the shore and you're gonna be... Oh, what was that? What's that sound? That's a new sound to me. <laughs> I don't know, I'm getting nervous. I'm sorry. I'm gonna jump. Oh, there it is. Little Warper dude. I jumped. Something hit my uh, sea moth. So these guys will actually teleport you away into like a random spot. Yeah, they can do that. The Warpers. I want whatever this is. I'm gonna go check this out real quick. So, totally fine here. Cyclops engine fragment, yes! We need this! Okay, so my blueprints for the Cyclops have been unlocked. Now we're just gonna find the rest of the the fragment stuff. Let me, um, peepers. Let me open this real quick. Blueprints, let's see here. Where's the Cyclone at? 
Cyclone, Cyclone, where you at, my boy? Let me see here. Oh, so we started the blueprints for the Cyclops engine, but not the Cyclops itself. So we still got some more pieces to find before we can start building that. However, this is promising. That means we're in a pretty good area to look for the blueprints. Look, oh, another engine piece right there. Fantastic. I'm just trying to keep my eyes open for that Reaper. I know he's out here because he's got me four. So try to play a little cautious here. Definitely don't want him to grab me when I'm in the Seamoth because that'll just, it'll tear my Seamoth like in half. You know? It really will. In all honesty. Yeah, I was gonna park like right here. That should be totally fine here. There we go. Huh? Now we're on the land of sight too. Okay, so when I last played this, I did not get very far in the story. I did open that before, but I never got to the part where the Sunbeam was gonna land for me. So this is all new to me. So I I mean uh I don't know. Like, is it actually gonna land? <laughs> that scared me, that big tube right there. That is freaky looking. Look at it, yo. Oh, jeez. Ugh. Ugh, I don't want to go down there. Ugh. Anyways, let's see here. There should be like a keypad or... Is that it? Scan this. Purple table tablet fragment. Yeah, give me that. Scan it in. Good, good. This should open up here. And then we're going to insert a tablet here. Uh, we do not have a tablet yet. I'm going to scan this. So yeah, we can't go through here. Um, There's a purple tablet somewhere on this island here. That we can put into here. And that'll bring down that force field right there. Then just go in there. So let's go ahead and explore the island. We got about 32 minutes to kill anyways. Let's we'll see if I can find a tablet here or something. Oh, look at this. It's literally right here. Let me scan it first. Okay. Look. Can I, can I not grab this? My inventory's full. Of course it is. Okay, go ahead and drop, um, I don't know. Drop the flare, dude. You don't need a flare, bro. Grab that. Look how close I am. It's right there. Yeah. Eh. Whee. Okay, let's go ahead and put it in here. Let's start that tablet. Fantastic. Watch your fingers, man. Pretty strong tablet magnetic grip there. All right, here we go, here we go. All righty, Roonies, let's see what we got going on here. What is this? Dirt or <laughs> data terminal. Analyzing data broadcast. Attempting translation. It's attempting to translate this. Is it working? Did it do it? Maybe, hold on. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so over here we have the alien data terminal. Discovered inside an alien facility, it was not possible to translate any useful information. However, scans have returned some information on the device itself. It is likely a solid state computer. Although there is no clear way to interface with it, on approach, it began producing a low frequency radio wave containing complex, but recognizable data patterns. It is likely the alien species which designed this technology evolved or genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device and to communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply the designers were considerably more psychologically developed than the common human assessment. Further research required. Okay, that's a good assessment. So the aliens are telepathic basically is what they're trying to convey here. And we need to research even more of it to know more about them. However, is that a good idea? Is this smart? Should we just leave, you know? Why do I need to know more? I feel like I don't want to. The patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. What? Further data oh, these? required. I see. Self scan. Oh, I can self scan now. I'll do that. What's going on with my body? Self scan complete. The bacterial infection in your system has progressed. Uh oh. Detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further I on cube? To identify bacterial strain. Got an ion cube. Should I be holding that? Yeah, it seems very radioactive, man. Why are you be grabbing that stuff, bro? It's nuts. Why are you doing that, man? What is this? Another data terminal. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Okay, okay. Enforcement platform schematic. Let's read this. This data set appears to be a multi-dimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping a pattern to three-dimensional space, it is possible to gather a basic understanding of this facility's internal workings. Construction material. This facility's unknown construction material is identified as an ultra-hard, non-reactive metal am amalgam. Amalgam. What? What does that mean? I don't know. Synthesized from off-world materials. There's no indication that it could be damaged or destroyed by available means. The power. The schematic indicates the facility was to be powered by a separate, self-sustaining power plant located elsewhere on the planet. The location is not listed, 
but there is evidence the designers intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy. The layout. The facility consists of the upper engineering sections, where the schematic was found, and the control room, which is accessed via a, a security sealed elevator shaft, or a separate underwater moon pool. Control. The control room in the lower section houses the only known way to interface with the facility. However, the schematic does not detail the operation procedure or installed security measures. Gotcha. We gotta go down. We gotta go down. We gotta go down the elevator. We gotta go down, down, there. Whee! Oh! Oh, jeez. Yes. So the controls are in the lower section of the ship here, which is what we're trying to do. Get to. I mean, what? Force wheel control. Pull. Cool. So here we are, down at the very bottom here. Oh my goodness. I remember this part of the game. This is super scary. Look at it, guys. It leads you out there. <gasps> oh, jeez. Tell me this isn't scary. Warper. Yeah, well, we'll go back up from that for now. Uh, no reason to be putting my face out there. Absolutely not. Get out of the water, Obi. That is way too scary. Um, so, you know, this is proof that the aliens had some kind of water-based vehicle that they used to dock in here. For whatever reason. I don't know why the aliens would come to this planet. Scariest planet in the world, but hey, what do I know? I'm just a human boy. A little baby human boy. I don't know what's going on here, okay? I don't care. You know? Hey, my wolf. Oh. Alien rifle. I want that. Can I learn how to craft this? Data download. It's alien rifle. But that's not a blueprint. Just data on it. Hmm. Just a weapon. Cool. Cool. Grab this. I want an ion cube again. I don't know if these are important or not. But I feel like I should be grabbing them. Drink some water here. So I'm a little thirsty. Thank you. So we got a little path here. We can go up. Or we can go through here. I'm going to explore the bottom layer first. And then move my little booty upwards. Okay, this looks kind of familiar. I've been here before a long time ago. Alien arch. Oh, the whole thing? Oh, geez. It's a big scanning process there. Okay, I'm not finding anything in here. So let's back out a little bit. Let's start heading upwards to the upper layers here. And see if we can find anything cool. Did y'all hear that? Something screamed. That's creepy. Anyways, let's head up here. See if we can find anything useful up towards the top here. Hmm. Ooh, hello there, purple tablet. I'll have to drop something here. Titanium, I don't need you. Get out of here. Get out of here, titanium. What in the world? Okay, apparently I can't drop the titanium, so I'm just going to eat a nutrient block. Okay, if I can't drop something, I'll just eat something. It's totally fine. I don't even care. Ooh, look at this. Doomsday device. Well, that just sounds bad. Why would you call it that? Out of all the things, why? And of course, we have another force for here, but I did find that purple tablet. Yeah. Lies beyond this doorway. The facility's control room is behind this doorway, it said. Well, that's good news, bears, because I just got inside of it. Yeah, boy. So let's see what we're seeing here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, that. Mm, right in front of my face. Cool, cool. Oh, I remember this. It injects me or something. Hold on. If you guys don't like needles, probably look away. Disable the facility. Yeah. Do it. Boop. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh -oh. A little bit. Whoa. Oh, jeez. Got me, ghost. Got me. Oh, oh. Music. The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. I hate you. And I hope your entire planet Explodes. Anyways, let me do a self scan real quick because it just it just jabbed me with a needle. I'm infected. My machine said I was infected. I'm I'm gonna die. I'm dying. I'm dying. I need to get to the hospital right away. I'm just kidding. Um. So basically, we can't disable this until we cure my infection, which is what I'm assuming I'm trying to do now. That is my new quest, apparently. Okay. Okay. There's got to be some medicine somewhere on this planet, you know? Someone's got to know how to cure this. Okay. Jeez. So I guess we should head back down. Um, you know, I'm not really too sure what else to do here. So I have about 22 minutes to kill. 
until the uh sunbeam lands you know that's always fun you know killing time is always a good thing i could go look some uh cyclops fragments that might be pretty smart because i need to get the cyclops going guys i get the cyclops going we're in we're in it to win it if i get that guys my dude is legit trying to swim right now look at his hands he's floating my boy what are you doing stop stop fooling around i'm really am affected oh geez the alien virus has got into my brain and now i think everything is water everything is water now 100 percent anyways ignoring that we're gonna go ahead and take a left here and then a right and then a left and now we are out we're out of that place and now we got to find ourselves some cyclops fragments while we kill 20 minutes okay should be totally doable here now remember guys the reaper is out here we'll see him if he passes by or you'll hear me screaming when he grabs me and screams at me first i'm just saying okay he might do that but we gotta find some uh cyclops fragments here okay are they in here i don't know is this a bad idea to go in here probably yes am i doing it anyways yep okay so far pretty standard stuff here where am i going i'm gonna get lost in here and i oh geez what is all this who huh? what is all this i don't know where i'm at i'm gonna get lost and i'm gonna, I'm gonna drown inside of a cave oh <gasps> what is all this i've never seen this oh jeez <laughs> I got scared. I'm sorry. Um, anyways. <laughs> Golly. I don't know where I'm at, bros. What in the world is all this? I've never seen this before in my life. I have no idea what this is. Secret underground cave? Oh, right, hold on. Let's go on foot here. Whoa, whoa, Cyclops, calm down. This looks beautiful. What is all this? Anything important in here? Maybe. Oh. We'll go this way. Oh. Well, that seemed pretty pointless. This leads us to the other side of the island, basically. Eh, I don't want to eat that. Anyone, my goal is today? Holy. Okay, as cool as this really was, we do need to find some Cyclops fragments. So, let's get out there. Let me stop getting distracted, and let's do this. So, I become very lost in here. Um. Coming in here was probably a very bad idea. Oh, jeez. None of this looks familiar because it all looks exactly the same to me. Oh, boy. Look, a dead end. A dead end. Oh, do I go down air? I guess I have to go down air? Like deeper? As he's counterintuitive at this point. What's that? Purple tablet. Okay, well, we know we've never been here before. So I'll grab it, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and drink some water here. I am dying of thirst. Vital signs stabilizing. Oh, why is it so big over there? Oh, never mind. I was just being a baby again. So where does this lead right here? Look at this. Lost in an underground cave of tubes. Forever getting deeper and deeper. Oh boy. Oh, I found the escape. However, it's super dark. Okay, it's lighting up a little bit. Okay. Oh, jeez, people don't touch me, bro. Okie dokie, let's see, uh... A lot of noise going on out here. Let's go a little deeper here. Excuse me, guys. Let's go a little deeper here. Just looking for fragments. Don't mind me. I don't want any trouble. Just looking for some... What in the world? Oh! I remember this part of the game. Oh, what is that? I don't remember that. Oh, yeah, these guys have, like, electricity and stuff. Stuff. Super cool. We're gonna go over here. Okay? We're gonna go check this out. So this is another bio. Oh, whoa, whoa, jeez. I thought it was a reaper. Scan me. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, so this is another biome. They have like giant spooky looking jellyfish down here and stuff like that. It's crazy. And they turn off all your lights and stuff. They cut their EMP. I don't know what that sound was. I don't want to turn around and find out though. I'm going to turn around. Oh, it's just that. Please go away, man. I'm just trying to explore a little bit here. No big deal. Now, I don't recall exactly, but I do remember back in the day, there was blueprints, like, down here that I needed. But I don't remember what the blueprints were for. They might have been for my Cyclops, but I can't recall exactly. But they were on this ledge. I remember, like, scanning this ledge very thoroughly back in the day. So nothing's popping up on this ledge here. I haven't found a single blueprint yet, so to speak. Maybe I got to go out a little bit more. Go a little bit deeper. And get a little bit more brave. You know? 
Look down here a little bit. <gasps> Look! Jellyfish thing! These things are super creepy, guys. 100% super creepy. Look at it. Hold on. Maximum depth Ooh. reached. Ooh. Oh, oh, gotta go up a little bit here. Look how creepy that thing looks, yo. It's attracted to your lights, so you turn it off. They don't really come by, do they? Oh. Nah. That scared me. <laughs> okay, we're going up a little bit. We're gonna go up a little bit here. We need to find these blueprints right away. So I'm gonna go ahead and check down here for some blueprints. Like, what is that? There's something right there. That thing's right. Oh, something touched my butt. What's the sand? Sand, please don't touch my butt. I want to check out what that blueprint is right there. Ooh, I'm taking a lot of damage here. Um, what is this? It looks like Cyclopsy, doesn't it? Cyclops bridge fragment. Yes. Give me that, please. Okay. Sweet. Sweet. Good, 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 good. All good, all good. So I'm going to go check this other box out down here. The little butthole fish is covering. Where'd it go? I just saw it. I think it's over here. Hmm. Ah, down here. Yes, yes. Perfect. Another bridge fragment for the Cyclops. And then over here, I'm half assume probably the same thing. Yes. Let me see. Propulsion cannon. I already have that. I don't need that anymore. Okay, let's get back inside here. Wait. I should repair this, shouldn't I? I should probably repair this thing. In case, in case a Reaper grabs me or something like that, or something stupid happens, it doesn't just right out explode on me. Because these things can explode. You could lose these. So we got to, you know, care for them like little babies. So now we're in some kind of mushroom biome. Pretty dark. Oh, look. The electrical guys I was talking about earlier. Oh, oh! That's, what's that? I thought that was a Reaper, dude. I'm so scared. Wow. This is the one... I play a lot of horror games. I have, you know. I played a lot of horror games back in the day. This is by far the scariest game I've ever played. Something about the water just gives me the heebie-jeebies, yo. Guys, Cyclops Hull Fragment. Oh, yes. This is awesome. And we still got about 10 minutes to kill, too. Perfect. We might get all the blueprints today required for the Cyclops itself. Look at this, guys. I think I found another one right here. Oh, it's so dark. Where was it? Here. Cyclops Hull Fragment. Yes. We need one more of these bad boys. And we have the main part of the Cyclops completed. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Is that it? Hold on. Let's see, please. Cyclops Brigade Fragment. Okay, we needed this one anyways. So that one's done. That one's done. Fantastic. All right, we're doing it, bros. We're absolutely doing this today. Okay, and here's the last hull fragment that I need. Did I finish my engines? I hope I did. Please get inside there. Let me check real quick. Let me check my blueprints here. Blueprints, blueprints. Uh, I need one more engine. One more engine. And then this should unlock, maybe? Hmm. I don't know, but the engine fragments were located near the island. Where I need to go. It's up here somewhere. I'm lost. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. I got really far away from the island, didn't I? Oh, jeez. Super dark out here, too. I'm gonna go up a little bit. Ooh. <sighs> Oh, hibbly dibbly. Hibbly hobbly. Woo wee! Wow, I'm way out here. Oh, jeez. Okay. We're just gonna swim along the surface and get back to the Sunbam landing site. I don't wanna look at the water anymore. It's too dark. Don't tell me to drink my water. I know when I'm thirsty, okay? You don't tell me when I'm thirsty. I'll tell you when I'm thirsty. Herkily dokely, guys. We're basically getting pretty close to the island again, okay? We're getting back into Reaper territory. My thing keeps a sparking and scaring me. I heard a loud scream earlier. I didn't bring it up because I didn't want to scare you guys, okay? Just wanted to close my eyes, take off my headset, and go. But my headset has been on the whole time. Okay, I'm a baby, but I'm not that big of a baby. I'm gonna turn around. Oh. Okay. Oh, where's the land? Where's the land? I want to go this way. I don't want to go deeper in the water. Golly. Jeepers. Well, weepers, man. Okay. We're going to wait till daylight. And then we're going to go out and look for some more Cyclops engine fragments. And by the time we get the last one, the sunbeam should be landing here, hopefully, if weather permits, and we'll be good to go. Oh, I need some water, though. I'm a little thirsty here. I don't have any water. Oh, wait a minute. I think you can drink these things. Hold on. Let me cut these down real quick. Bulbo trees. Inventory's full. Hold on, hold on. There's a... I don't need this carry-all bag. Why do I have that? Move, stupid bag. Come on. Let me see. H2O. There you have it. Woo, boys. Okay, so that saves us another trip back to the life hut or whatever. You know, that helps us 
quite tremendously here. So now we wait. Okay, so far, no luck. Have not come across anything yet, except this big old mama jabba right here. Ooh. Something sounds pretty mad out there, doesn't it? Who's gonna go around here? You know, oh look, this is where is this where you park your thing in there? Thought this is where you bring the Cyclops or the sea moth in there, but maybe I'm wrong. Doesn't matter. I'm just sticking to the walls here, you know. Just stick it to the walls, boys. Stick it to the walls. Okay, I'm honestly a bit surprised. I just did almost a whole lap around the island here and have not come across a single blueprint. Huh. Well, that's kind of lame. Never mind a lot. I found one here, right here. It's just chilling right here. It's totally fine. Exactly what I'm doing here. Give me the last fragment. Thank you. Cyclops blueprint available. Okay. Where's that blueprint thing up here? Let me see here. Okay. All we need is this stuff right here. Um, okay. Plus steel ingot. Not sure how to get that just yet. We're going to look into that one next episode. What we're going to do here today is just to wait at the landing site here. And, uh, you know, we're just going to chill. We're going to wait, see what happens when it lands. Okay, guys, we got about 30 seconds left. I'm hearing some noises. You guys hear that? Uh-oh. Is that a defense system? Is this why the Aurora crashed? Oh, that is definitely doing something. Oh, that's a giant turret, boys. Uh oh. Oh, geez. One second. Attention. Oh. Patching in a local broadcast from the Sunbeam. I don't believe it. Yeah, it's me. Down there. Oh. Aurora, survivor. We have your PDA signature. I don't know how you walked away from that wreck, let alone there. survive since then. But we'll be happy to bring you on board and hightail back to Federation space. Okay. Stand back. We're approaching the landing site now. Breaking atmosphere in five, four, three. What is that? No, the red spike. Oh, jeez. From the spike. Well. That's bad news, Bears. 100%. Um, I've never seen that before. This is all new to me, by the way. Um, they're gone, dude. Seek fluid intake. 100% gone. Um, um, yeah, well. Um, okay. Um, uh, yikes. Yep. Yep, that happened. Um, so. Okay. Well then. Well, uh. Um, yeah, I guess that just happened. Uh, I'm not really sure where to go from here now. Well, uh. Yikes. That's kind of sad. That's a big ship. You know, I had a lot of people on that ship. A lot of people just got killed by an alien. I'm just saying. Trying to save me. Little old me. Like, who am I? You know? To save. Be saved. You know? No one. Well, I guess the only thing we can do here is head all the way back to the life pod and wrap things up for today. Yeah? I think that's my only reasonable course of action here. Yeah, I actually needed to head back anyways because I am dying of dehydration just about. So I need to get back and get some fluid in me right away here. I don't think I have any more... Let me see, bulbar tree things. Nope. Should have grabbed one more for the rope. Gosh, darn it. That's okay. It's no big deal. Well, guys, I think that's what we're going to go ahead and call this one. We did a lot today. Okay, we found all the ingredients to build the Cyclops. And we got to see some the Sunbeam explode, which is pretty legit. Not going to lie to you. So, uh, yeah, hope you all enjoyed this episode of Sonautica. If you did, make sure to leave the video a big old fat thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you're new and you want to see more. Make sure to ring that notification bell. Bing! 
That really helped the boy will be out. And I super appreciate it, guys. I'll see you all in the next one.